Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you an easy way you can test drive pretty much any version of Linux with pretty much any desktop pre-installed. Now to do this, we don't have to download the operating system, we don't have to flash it to a USB drive or a hard drive and boot it up in live mode. We can actually do it all from within our browser using distrotest.net. Now I did make a video on this a long time ago, but I kind of wanted to bring it back up because I've had a lot of people asking what the best version of Linux is. And in my opinion, there's really no one version that's the best. I mean, it really comes down to user preference and what you want to do with that Linux distro. And as a lot of us already know, I mean, there are tons of versions of Linux available. If we head over to DistroWatch, this is a really awesome site that I visit about once a week just looking for new Linux distributions. We can go over here to the side, and this is the page hit ranking. This just ranks how many people have been looking at this specific operating system. And if we go down the list, there's 100 right here. And that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to Linux distributions. If we go into MX Linux, we actually get a lot of great information. We get a little screenshot here, type of OS, what it's based on, the origin, architecture that this can be running on, and the desktop. MX Linux right out of the box uses XFCE. So I'm going to leave a link to distrowatch.com in the description so you can take a look at all of these different operating systems. But this video is really going to be focusing on distrotest.net. They're hosting 297 different versions of Linux with 1,149 different variations. And by variations, we'll go to Ubuntu. As you can see, we have Ubuntu, Ubuntu Budgie, Cinnamon, Mate, different desktops. If we want Ubuntu Budgie, we can head right over here. They have 18.04 all the way up to 20.04. I'll just go with 20.04, go to details, gives us some information here about the machine that we're going to be running on, and we can just choose system start. So what this is going to do is make us wait a little while if there's somebody else using it ahead of us, and when you're done, make sure you choose system stop. So I have a one minute wait. When it says one minute, it's usually not a minute. There we go. It's now starting the operating system up for us. And here it is. It's running in my browser. This is the Chrome browser. I'm just going to press F11 on my keyboard. It'll bring me to full screen and you can start using the operating system here. Now I do want to make it perfectly clear that this is not representative of the performance that you'll receive if you install this operating system to a local disk on your own PC. This is running live from one of their servers, so there will be some latency with your mouse and your keyboard inputs, but overall this really just gives you an idea of how the operating system looks and feels. I'm going to back out of here, just F11, I can close this window down, and I want to make sure I hit system stop so the next person can go ahead and use this if they choose to. We'll just head back to home and you can try out a different distro from here. So I'm going to go with M. We'll find Manjaro and we have a few to choose from here. The GNOME desktop, KDE Plasma, XFCE. Uh, we also have KDE down here. I'm just going to go with GNOME. You can go to details or just click start. full screen it and F11 and we're now running Manjaro with the GNOME desktop so like I said not representative of the performance you're going to receive from this particular distro using it on your own PC but it gives us a good idea of how this operating system feels and overall if you might enjoy using it before you go ahead and download it and flash it to a USB drive or a hard drive but that's pretty much it for this video. I really appreciate you watching. I just kind of wanted to make this quick video to bring this back up because I really do think that this is an awesome tool in helping you decide which distribution you'd like to run on your PC. I will leave links to distrotest.net in the description. I'm also going to leave a link to distrowatch.com in the description because this is another awesome tool just to help you decide which one is best for you. Lots of great information here and there's tons of different distros to choose from. But that's it for this one. If you could, let me know in the comments below what your favorite distro is right now. I know a lot of people like distro hopping like myself, but there are some that I kind of stick around with for a while. So I'd be interested to know what you're using right now or even what you were using last week. But like always, thanks for watching.